Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, October 28th, 2014. All right, on the announcement front, uh, yesterday pending home sales index modestly optimistic looking. Uh, it was up just a tad higher than the expectations and the Dallas Fed manufacturing survey. Uh, things are hopping, I guess you might say, in the southern southwest, I, might call, I don't know what you would call Dallas, mid-south, mid-south-south, south-mid-south, I don't know. But anyway, um, not sure exactly what territory the Dallas Fed is responsible for. Uh, but anyway, um, it's doing much better than most of the other manufacturing surveys that I have looked at that the Fed does. I don't know how they ever got involved in that anyway. But uh, for today we have durable good or goods orders, the Case-Shiller Home Pricing Index, and Consumer Confidence. I think that that is it. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's take a look at what's happening across the ponds. Asia, uh, slightly bullish. In some cases, very bullish. In some cases, slightly bearish. <laughs> and in Europe, we are bullish across the board. And it's pretty solid numbers. All right. Now, let's take a look at here. We are looking like as though we are going to gap up a tad this morning. Let me bring up the big four as we go through this. Let's bring that over there and bring that one over there. Um, all the indexes are looking up and the VIX has fallen a tad. Gold is down overnight and oil is down too. It's down to $80.90. Well, still yesterday it hit a new low. We see here at $79.61, and I saw gas for sale for $2.89 in my area yesterday. So that is, that's a good thing. I mean, individually standing on its own, that's a good thing. It's a little scary, though, when uh, something like that happens. Are we going to be heading into a deflationary period? I don't know. And is it... Um, is it OPEC trying to price the U.S. out of the oil market, make it too expensive for us to produce oil? I don't know. Uh, look at the ES overnight. Some big moves, especially when uh, the European markets opened. Gold, uh, man, it's just not going anywhere. In our uh, GLD play for yesterday, did not pan out, never gave us an entry. Here's oil, and then the VIX is down to 16.6, so it's dropped a whole point in the last couple of days. Okay, uh, did yesterday I did enter, oh, a word, I did enter into, sorry about that, Netflix trade yesterday, we'll look at that as we go through the scan, and then the other thing was, uh, According to Market Watch, here I take a look at this calendar. Usually, let me bring this down. I don't know. This ended up squished up because I have to shrink the screen a little bit. So if I click on Monday the 27th here, which is uh, right here, the 27th, I come up with Baidu's earnings. It's a question mark, though. I should have noticed the question mark. If I look on a chart for Baidu, well, here they're both crammed together on the same day, which says 1029 for sure. Now, if I go over to this chart and break it down into, uh, let's go 30 minutes. All right, it doesn't... Uh, I swear, a little while ago, we had earnings on Monday and the conference call on Wednesday. 
I go back to the daily here. I swear that's the way it was. The blue marker was over here, which is for the earnings announcement, and then this one here is for the conference call. So I it was kind of confusing. So that's why I had Baidu down for earnings yesterday on my uh, little slip or on my list. So I apologize for that confusion. I usually go by the charts, but I thought I would go here and see who else that I don't follow has earnings that may be of interest. Well, here's Twitter. Twitter had earnings yesterday. And what happened with them? Let's see what happened. On a 30-minute chart. All right. Um... Apparently not good enough. Let's see here if I can get this to come up. Let's go here back to a daily chart. And uh, they actually earned, they were expected to lose 26 cents. They earned a penny. Yeah, not good enough. Not good enough, I'm sorry. See, here's the thing that kind of scares me about anybody's announcements lately. There's been some good results. I think that forecasts or guidance, as they call it, um, are not looking very good. Or they're just not liking what they're hearing, I guess. I don't know. Not sure what the deal is here. Let's see if we can... Let's see, 10 stocks. Okay, we're looking for yesterday. Uh, lost 2 million users in Asia. Uh... Weak user growth, revenue outlook. Uh, I guess that's weak user growth and revenue outlook, I guess you might say. The pace slowed. And they had service issues. Yeah, I think that there was a couple of times when um, I couldn't retrieve tweets when I went over to Twitter. Not that I spend a lot of time there, but... I guess they were they are having issues all right so oh we'll just wait with the Amazon trade till Wednesday we'll see what happens then for today do we have anything for today today is uh, the 28th uh, the best scripts is today and when is today so we have those two to take a look at. Make a note of that. And win. Both of Express Scripts, I'm um, looking at them to uh, have good earnings and good forecast, and win to ha maybe have okay earnings and a poor forecast. That's sort of what I'm looking for. So. Express scripts because of health insurance. I mean, now people have to have health insurance. So how can you not make money when people have to buy your product? <laughs> so anyway, they're a servicer to the healthcare industry. Okay, uh, let's get going with the scan for today. Okay, Apple. Still waiting for it to come down into our target area. Uh, Amazon. Okay, we have a target set here. Waiting for it to come back up to it. That may not be valid. I mean, if this is a strong move and it actually bends this moving average, probably not going to bend the moving average until it gets up to it. Um, I may change my mind about that. Boeing. I have a target set here on Boeing. It's just not doing anything right now. So that could get um, the stochastic to move up in that direction as long as the price doesn't really fall. 
this will continue moving up. Uh, there is no momentum at the moment. Well, it's been pretty flat. So we may not get the um, confirmation on there, but we'll see what happens. Baidu, of course, we beat that one to death. Let's move right on to Chipotle. Um, Chipotle has moved up here and it is now in a setup mode. But you know what? I'm taking I'm taking this target off of here just because I believe Chipotle's going to you know just based on this I mean this is down to ten. It was down to ten here. Actually twelve on the MACD and now in just like three days it's moved above zero. That's a lot of momentum. Who know momentum? So I'm thinking that we may end up with a trend change on the daily chart. We already have it on the intraday chart and it would be a continuation of this trend on the weekly chart. So I'm taking this target off of here. All right, Costco actually may end up with a target down here. All right, Costco. Uh, we have target down here, a little bit of a violation, so we're going to have to wait. Let's take a look at the Dow. All right, we kind of broke through this particular um, resistance line here on the top of this channel. We'll just keep an eye on it. I'm not going to move the line or anything. It's already established. Uh, GLD is not doing anything for me. I'm going to move this over. And we'll still keep an eye on it. I probably won't do anything today. But if we do get a hookup, I'm going to want to see a hookup here on the MACD. Google. Uh, we had an alert set here and actually it worked out but we didn't get the confirmation on price we have one more day one more day so I'm going to move this alert up to just below the low from yesterday and it's still in alert status all right, moving right along because we're having so much fun. LinkedIn. Yes, earnings later this week. NDX. I have target set down here. Just waiting for it to come down and give us an entry, which makes me nervous on my rut play that I have right now. Here's Netflix. Um... We're up here at 390 with our short. And we're just hoping I had confirmation on the MACD. I think it was probably uh, entered around on this candle, maybe on this candle here. Oh, and it was much lower. And then the MACD switched on me. So. I did have it and then it disappeared. Sometimes that happens. Anything interesting happening this morning with Netflix? Okay, 373, 386. So nothing really going on this morning with it. All right, Priceline has earnings. Russell. So we're up here with our 11.30. We have an alert at 11.25. We're at 11.23 right now on the futures. Keeping me nervous. That's what it's doing, is keeping me nervous. Uh, SPX. Okay. 
All right, I had an alert down here. I was hoping to get an entry here. I take this alert off when I wanted to go short with it or do a bear call. But now it looks like as though we're lining up for a bull put. We're going to slide this target out a little bit more into the future and say, give us an entry. And then Tesla and Visa have earnings coming up, so I'm not interested in looking at them for a scan. But I am interested in doing simulated earnings plays on them. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, all we have is an alert on Google for today. That's it. Everything else is in the beginning of possibly a new trend, so we have to wait to make sure that that's what's happening. And it has to prove itself. So, have a great day, and happy trading.